welcome to Kate and Create. Good morning, everybody. I know you can't see me because. Ah, uh, there we go. So, today is the 2nd of December. I have a long makeup. Um, because I went to the pub yesterday and I was super tired. Um, I still am a bit tired. But. I need to go downstairs and get my medicine. Um, but I'm also going to do my advent calendar. So when I do my advent calendar, I'll bring it upstairs and do it up here. Because I don't know if my dad's awake. So I'm going to go downstairs in a minute. I'm going to get my meds, do my advent calendar. And I'm also going to go to the toilet. But you don't, you guys don't need to know that. Um, I am still in my pyjamas. I think I can still really early. And it's like so funny outside. It's crazy. Like, there's no snow, it's just so misty and foggy, which is crazy compared to yesterday. So, anyway. Right, let's do day two. I was gonna do it downstairs because my dad's awake. But I really can't do it. So I'm gonna do it downstairs. Here we go. It is my father Christmas. So I'm now going to eat this. For some reason I brought this up, because I might eat it even though it's early morning, but still. And then I'm going to um, just try and wake up and then get dressed in a minute and I'll probably do, go, um, do a puzzle because that's what I tend to do in the mornings. So I was going to get in my... Um, I was going to get dressed and then do my design whilst I'm dressed, but I'm really cosy, really cosy. so I thought, why not do it whilst I'm in my pyjamas? Now, the only thing about doing that is that a lot of people, when they um, do work in their pyjamas, it sort of confuses their brain and they want to try and differentiate between work and bed which is what i need to start doing which i do do but um, i'm like still in my pjs which i don't completely like so technically i could get dressed but i can't be bothered to get dressed so I'm going to do it in my PJs for a bit. Like, there's not much I need to do anyway. Um, so then after I'm done, I'll then just go and get dressed. And then see where the day takes me from there. Um, so I'm just going to log in. I'm going to load everything up. And then we are going to get on with designing this morning. So this is as far as I got yesterday. I was beginning to add type. And I'm just going to see if I have the same problem as what I have been having. Yes, it sorted itself out. Thank God for that. Okay, so yesterday I was having major problems with the typography. Where it was majorly playing up in terms of... Um, basically in terms of the letter. And it's, but I'm so happy it sorted itself out. So I'm going to continue working on this one which is Willow's, I'm going to write her name, I'm also going to add a thingy of her in the box, and then just play around with some colour, and then I'll come back to you guys, well, I will do a time lapse of this. <laughs> So 
I just want to show you guys how I'm working on Riley's um, design. So essentially, Riley likes reading books. So I found an image of a person on a chair reading a book. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to recreate the front cover of Diary of a Wimpy Kid onto here. And then the back cover is just going to be like um, just a blue because I don't know what the back cover actually is. And then I'm going to use the colours of Riley um, and I'm going to insert, well I'm going to put them onto here. Um, so hopefully you guys can see how I'm doing it. This one I would say is definitely the most hardest design I have done done um out of all of them because when i was um looking up images of someone reading a book all that came up was adults and not children maybe i should have wrote children but you know we are going to get there i believe well i think it's looking quite good at the moment um, it's definitely taken a while because I have to like reshape everything and that's the hardest bit when you're trying to recreate something is trying to shape everything making sure it's like what it would be if it was an actual book cover and blind me honestly this is not the best thing I've recreated and then this one is the spine of the book, well the side of the page. So I'm going to like rotate it so it matches the um, the angle of the book. And then I'm going to essentially just line it up, bring it across, and then I'm going to bring it upwards which does make them all squished together slightly, but that's okay. There we go. So then all I'm going to do for this side is I'm going to copy and paste this one and I'm going to reshape it and somehow line it. Actually, no, I didn't do that last time, did I? No, I didn't do that. So this is how I recreated the shape of the book. I basically just used the pen tool and I outlined what I currently have and then I recreated it that way. I don't know what the front, the back cover has, but I think that looks quite cool. So I'm now going to put you guys on the time lapse. I'm going to finish recreating Riley. Then I'm going to put them all on their own page with all of the complete designs and then I'll take a picture and I'll send it to them and see what they think. So guys, we're almost there. and see what they think um, but this is the final outcome I'm going to still record throughout the day but it won't be business related um, so yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed um, watching the process of this come together uh, let me know if there's any other youtubers you would like me to see if I can do uh, if like I'll like see bleh, hold on let me know if there is any other YouTubers you would like me to message to see if I can do a sticker shoot for them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. So I have done the half of the puzzle. I think it looks really cool. However, I've still got some pieces left. And I'm not too sure where they go. Um, but I'm very happy with how 
it has looked. But I'm now going to end the video because there's not really, like I'm not really going to film anything throughout the day. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Um, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!